Thank you for joining the ITS Dispatch training video series. Today's topic will be creating a new sales rep. To create a new sales rep, we simply do this in the user selection. And by doing that, what we will do is we will look at the green shield in the user profile in our user list. So if we click on the green shield, we can see that there's a couple of options. We have an administrator, a dispatcher, a sales rep, or custom permissions. Now to explain the difference between a sales rep and the other permissions as a dispatcher and administrator, we need to take a look at how the accounts look when the sales rep is accessing the accounts. So we're going to take a look at an account that is set up as a strictly a sales rep. We can see here that the main differences are the access to the different sections of the program. We can see here that they can access the truck stop and doing load searches and truck searches. They can access administration, customers, shippers, consignees, drivers, trucks, trailers, carriers, brokers, factory companies. So they can create new shippers, new consignees if they need to. Now a sales rep only has access to customers that are specific to them. If we take a look at uh, the main screen for an administrator or a dispatcher, you can see that they have access to a few other sections of the program. Administrators have access to accounting, so they can do invoicing and sales rep commissions, reports, which sales reps do not have access to. For the sales rep setup, in setting up a new sales rep, uh, all we need to do is make sure that once we have set up the user with the sales rep only permissions, we need to set up the commissions. Any user that has a sales rep addition to it or is selected as a sales rep only will have this extra box of commissions between details and advanced in the user profile. By clicking on commissions, you can see here that we can select a pay schedule or add a new pay schedule. By adding a new pay schedule, we'll start off with a default commission schedule. Then we'll be able to, that will be the commission schedule that will automatically apply to any loads that they're uh, accounted for. The status of the sales rep, active or inactive. The pay type, gross, being they will get a percentage of the actual total amount of the load. Margin would be the profit of the total load, so includes all additional charges and all uh, additional deductions. Base rate margin will be based solely on the line haul or the main part of the load. So it won't include things like fuel surcharge, uh, they won't get a percentage of any of the other details or any additions or, or uh, deductions beyond the carrier costs or driver costs and the actual base of the load. An advanced commission allows you to do uh, uh, various variations of that where they may get a percentage of the base rate, a uh, percentage of certain fuel surcharges or additional charges, picks and drops, or you can even put a flat rate if you're paying, uh, let's say, $50 per load. It uh, doesn't matter what the profit is, you can put a flat rate in there and select that sort of commission. Generally speaking, there's different ways of doing it. Uh, today we're going to use the margin and we're going to pay this uh, sales rep 50% of the margin. Second commission applies to when you have multiple sales reps. Uh, this will allow the paid commissions based on the cost, including other sales reps. Uh, so if you have another sales rep, the commission will be reflected in the margin uh, or the gross on the pay schedule. What that means is that uh, both of the sales reps commissions will be applied together as opposed to individually. Uh, for example, if you have a load that uh, the, is paying $1,000 and the costs on the load are $800 and your rep is uh, getting 10% of the margin, 10% of the profit, that would be $100. If you had two reps on the load and both were getting paid 10% of the margin, that would mean that both reps' total commission would be $200, meaning the company makes zero profit. What this would do would be that uh, they would get 10% of the profit minus uh, that other sales reps commissions so the total amount paid out to the sales reps would be 10% of the profit and they would split that amount. That's if you select the second commission and you have another sales rep on the load. You can also add any other details for the sales rep if there's say an employment contract, um, any other uh, commission contracts or anything like that into the file storage if you have that activated into your account and of course uh, you can select different advanced uh, selections such as driver pay details can only create pending loads similar to when setting up any other user. 
You can also include them in the sales date updates and team overviews uh, for their emails, morning emails from the sales manager portion of the program. And of course, the last but not least, you can change the status of any sales rep from active to inactive if, uh, let's say, the sales rep is no longer employed with you. Of course, you still want to keep records of what was done with that employee, so you keep them in an inactive state so that uh, you can pull up records later, but they're not accessible or not usable in the regular day-to-day -day operations of the program. If you do have any questions about adding a sales rep or any of the specifics about setting up commission structures, feel free to call our office Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. Our number is 888-338-9656.